the World Cup Champions of 1999. What a victory for the Giants! A fantastic effort. Come on, man! There's Cup. Yeah, can you get it? 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 Can Hello to all of you on another exciting episode of Match Point by Dr. Adnan. Lot of exciting cricket news updates we will give you and we will tell you what's happening around the globe in cricket. But of course, in my headlines, first of all, the major headline is about PSL, Pakistan Super League, which was ready to kick off on 14th of Feb on the Valentine and finally it's on the way. Pakistan Super League PSL Season 4, no doubt, it's the Pakistan's biggest brand, biggest ever brand Pakistan has produced in a shape of PSL, is under fire and all set to go for the one man, one month, we will see the thrilling fixtures and the uh, arch rivals like Zalmis and Gladiators, once again we will see that are we going to see the duplicate of one run win again in the season 4, this a time will tell. Already now, some of the matches uh, uh, have been done, results have been, uh, results are coming right now and the teams on the top which have registered their way on the points table, they are Gladiators, they are United which are the defending champions and of course Kings. You will be surprised to know their name. The next headline, New Zealand clinched the thriller in the Hamilton beating Team India which is the second best team in the T20s and winning the rubber ultimately 2-1. We will tell you the details what happens next when India meet in the decider against the Kiwis. Darren Semi, he says I have a special relationship with Pakistan. And every time I'm coming to Pakistan, I'm getting a lot of love and something is very special which is happening to me and to my team in Pakistan. And this is the best moments of my life and the best memories which I carry away to the Caribbean. Luke Ronki, the heart of Islamabad United and the heart of New Zealand, he is also along with the Islamabad United. There was a lot of excitement all around when we landed in Karachi for the PSL final last year. Energy in the city was amazing and he says that he felt great being a part of this festival. And I'll tell you this too, that Luke Ronki didn't have any difference from PSL 3 and 4. PSL 3, where they finished it, and there he entered into a with a six in the PSL 4 from where he left in the PSL 3. Ravi Bopara. Kya kati hai ji Ravi Bopara. The energy in the Lahore was great and amazing last year. I can't forget how the fans welcomed us with our open arms when things were there. All of them young, old, and incredible passion of game in this very country. PCB is putting its foot down, no freebies including the match tickets from the PCB for the Board of Governors during the Pakistan Super League, first time it has been happening in the season 4. No freebies also for the journalists covering the PSL and previously 40 to 50 journalists had been given the free ride for the uh, PSL from the PCB but this time they have been denied. So, uh, at the end, before finishing the headlines, I just want to tell you the schedule of Pakistan 
versus Australia. The series to be played in the UAE. I will give you the updates and details later on when the show will uh, progressing. But before the World Cup, Pakistan team will of course will be involved in the one day ODI fixtures with one of the best in the format, the team Australia. Here we go. The 22nd of March, first ODI will be played in the Sharjah. This will be a day night match. 24th of March, second ODI will be played on the same very ground Sharjah day night match. The third match will be the 27th of March, third ODI, but this time the venue has been switched to Abu Dhabi, uh, Sheikh Zayed uh, ground. And this match will also be the day night to grab more audience. And the 29th of March, there will be the fourth ODI. The, the teams will come back to Dubai for the day night match. And the last match, 31st of March, will be replayed. It will be the fifth ODI, and it will be on the same venue, Dubai, where Pakistan will face Australia in the day night match. So, what's up next, and what is the major headline with this Pakistan Australia series? Yes, there is a chance of David Warner and Steve Smith coming back to the Australian team. So this will be a great stuff against Pakistan. So those who are not knowing, I may remind you that Steve Smith and David Warner, his partner, they were out of the cricket because of the uh, because of some. Uh, um, uh, I don't want to go to that incident, but some of the uh, cricket uh, uh, breaching the conditions of the ICC. They were away from the cricket for the one year, and now that penalty is going to be over. So they will be ready for the national selection again on 29th of March following the end of their 12 month ban. So if they are fit to play and if the selection committee uh, uh, declares them fit, so they will be able to play two last games versus Pakistan in the five match series on 29th of March and the 31st March when the team Australia will be coming back from Abu Dhabi to Dubai to play in the Dubai International, these players will be ready for them if selection committee uh, picks them for the team. Corey Anderson, the beauty uh, of the ODIs and the beauty of the T20. What he says, we have changed a few things and we have a great squad and the guys like Mohammad Hafiz, Fakhr Zaman, A.B. De Villiers, uh, Lamashan, Brathwaite, Rahat Ali and I'm hoping that this year we can reward the Kalandar fans by lifting the trophy. Allah hi kare, what Corey Anderson is saying, it may, may go in that way and Rana Saab's team Lahore Kalandar may come with a flying color but it's really a tough time for Kalandars again. According to the Koita Gladiators official, bad news if you are a Koita fan. This headline is regarding the foreign players who have agreed to play the Pakistan if the team proceeds to the final round. But Shane Watson has again declined to come to the Pakistan. KP is already not the part of the Kota Gladiators. That was his last season and the last league. He is no more available for any league. But Shane Watson, the game changer of the Kota Gladiators, will not be competing them. He has finally told and decided. And another news regarding the one of the spinning sensations, Sunil Narayan. Sunil Narayan will miss the start of the Pakistan Super League 2019. He is nursing a finger injury and his participation in the PSL 4 in early matches has been denied and it's confirmed. After seeking medical advice, he can join and Kota Gladiators in the meantime has drafted Somerset leg spinner Max Weller as a cover. Fakhar Zaman is also really excited that he can do this time something for Kalandars to put them back into the Kalandri run. But let's see what Fakhar can do or not and anyone can do a no ball like Bhumra for him or not. But he has said that PSL has played a great part in his career, lifting his career because he still remembers that when he was playing the Pakistan Super League and his half century against the Karachi Kings, the arch rivals. Soon after that, the Pakistan coach, head coach and the Karachi Kings coach, uh, Mickey Arthur, 
approached him and he told that he is ready to play for Pakistan and he still remembers that those were the happiest moments of his career when Mickey approached him and told him that he is going to get the Pakistan cap soon in the ODIs. Pakistan Cricket Board has rejected Sharjeel Khan's appeal to allow him to play into the domestic cricket and Pakistan Cricket Board has uh, announced again and told that still the ban is on and uh, his involvement in the match fixing before the August September like the international ban he can also not play the local matches whatever the condition of the match local or international PCB has endorsed that Shajil Khan is not allowed to play Josh Hazelwood the fast bowling sensation from Australia has been ruled out of the Pakistan Australia series in UAE Dubai and Abu Dhabi so Pakistan can take a sigh of relief in the absence of Joe Shazelwood because he is suffering from a stress fracture of his back during the fourth test against India and still he is recovering and hopefully Australian media is telling that he will be ready for the World Cup but before them, uh, before the World Cup they can't put him in a, they can't jeopardize his health before the World Cup. The last headline before the show is about Najam Sethi. Najam Sethi who still believes that Pakistan Super League PSL is his baby and his brain work and his team the PSL and Najam Sethi is little bit was uh, he said it was annoying uh, but as they didn't invite me to the Pakistan Super League 2019 opening ceremony no one sent me the invitation but it doesn't matter my best wishes are reserved for the Pakistan Super League because it belongs to all Pakistanis so these were the headlines and soon after when I will come back from the headlines we will discuss Pakistan Super League as PSL 4 is on game on hair with the flying colors Pakistan Super League is on the way lot of matches have been done lot of exciting matches still to be done all will be covered on the match point but for this you need to stay on EAWAS television and you need to stay on the Facebook and the YouTube page Greatest Empire USA I am your host your friend, your dost, Dr. Adnan, and you are watching Match Point. Welcome back on the Match Point. We are discussing about the Pakistan Super League. Season 4 is under progress, and the league will be shifted from Dubai and Abu Dhabi and Sharjah. It will be shifted to the Pakistan soon. We will be giving you the news. Abu Dhabi has been involved first time for this Pakistan Super League. Before that, never any matches has been happening in that ground, that very ground, Abu Dhabi, Sheikh Zayed Sports Complex. But this time, the matches will be there. But I just want uh, to have a look along with you guys for the overall drafting. And here you see the card. Uh, you can see that 40 overseas players in the Pakistan Super League 2019 by the different nationalities. 12 are the highest number which has been picked from the England and then comes the West Indies 8 players from the West Indies, 6 from the Australia, 5 from the South Africa, 4 from the New Zealand, 2 from Zimbabwe, 1 from Afghanistan, 1 from Nepal and 1 from Wales. Nepal's Sandeep Lamishan is the only player of the ICC Associates team who became the part of the Pakistan Super League Season 4. Otherwise, no other associate member has been picked in any of the squad. This is the beauty of Lamishan, I will tell you. Such is his demand in the franchise cricket that in the T20 debut he made 10 months ago, Lahore Kalandar will be his 6th team and 6th franchise in the T20 League. And watch out this man and what he wonders he can do and I think their team will be a spinning sensation or the spinning bomb having already a lot of spinners and this spinner we will see that what wonders he can do further for the calendars so quickly we will proceed towards the matches what we have seen so early match we saw Rana Saab was very excited as calendars were going to play against the uh, Islamabad United who were the defending champions the team of Saeed Ajmal, team of uh, Mohammed Sami, team of Luke Ronki and team of Dino, Dean Jones his secret phenomena, red book we are gonna see 
in this season 4 but i want to tell you about this match that as the match was proceeding uh, at the one stage it looked like that lahore kalandars may do some wonder but they were very unfortunate that once again jo unke sitare hain wo dobara kuch tode gardesh mein aa gaye first 10 overs which lahore was playing 89 for 0 and the second 10 overs when there was a time to accelerate they did the same thing which Pakistan team and the team green is doing in the international matches the last 10 overs they lost 8 wickets and they made only 82 runs so this was the dilemma because at one stage it was looking like their calendars may go to the 200 but they were un uh, unable to uh, do so. Haris Rauf in his first two overs in the Pakistan Super League has bowled five deliveries over 140 kilometers per hour. It was a very good sign to see Haris Rauf like this because any Pakistani young lad touching 145 kilometers per hour was a very nice gesture because the recent six, seven months we have not seen any of the Pakistani international bowler to touch the speed beyond 132 kilometers per hour. So this, which was the routine of Pakistani fast bowlers in the 70s, in the 80s, in the 90s, and even in the early 2000s, now this is no more the part of the Pakistan strength, the real fast bowling. So Haris Rauf is ready to put some magic into the Pakistan bowling. Lahore Kalandar are only themselves to blame in this defeat. They should have been looking a total of 200, but after in the 14th over they were 125 for one and from there the collapse started and they lost seven wickets in the quick succession lahore kalandars had a fantastic start no doubt but the defending champions they kicked off pakistan super league 2019 with a superb win once again and showing that if luke ronki won't perform someone else will perform so this is a beauty of a champion team. Islamabad United showing their batting strength once again. Such a versatile batting lineup that I cannot explain you. Such a dominating batting attack that you can't believe. The openers, the middle order and the late middle order and the lower order. And you will be surprised to know if I go to the lower orders, the Pakistan besties who are the top scorer in the ODIs, Shadab Khan's turn is coming at number 10 or number 11 so this is the strength of Islamabad United which is used to which was used to be and which is the strength of team India when you know that your number 9 and number 10 are still able to bat just like the English team when Muin Ali and the Joseph Butler uh, uh, they are coming quite late in the innings at number 7 number 8 but still there is a plenty of batting in the England and team India and same is happening uh, with the Islamabad United and as I told you in the beginning in the headlines 6 by Luke Ronke starts he started the show where he left off in the last edition Islamabad in the second over they were 15 for naught and then the drama started Rahat Ali the drama creator who dropped the catches from the Wahab Riyaz in 2015 World Cup and Pakistan suffered the quarter-final defeat at the hand of Aussies and Pakistan were out of the World Cup. He was on the fire. In the one over, he took three wickets and the two wickets he took in the successive ball. Second wicket was of Luke Ronke, mastermind of the Islamabad United. But still, they couldn't control the team Islamabad. Regular breakthroughs for Kalandars but Fahim Ashraf and Asif Ali put on an unbroken 59 of 28 for the six wickets and they cruised the way towards the victory. Islamabad chase of Lahore Kalandras 171 is the fifth highest chase and the biggest chase in the Dubai Sports uh, City Stadium and the third highest chase in the PSL at any venue. A superb start of the season from the defending champion. Lahore Kalandras finished last in the last three seasons of the Pakistan Super League but still it's the most popular team of the Pakistan Super League because of the Rana Saab or because of the Chris Gale or because of Brandon McCallum or whatever the cause but they are the popular team. Uh, no doubt uh, Rana Fawad is having lot of energy to grab the uh, uh, audience. No other owner is having such uh, stigma and enigma to grab the audience 
towards their uh, team which Rana Saab is having. But uh, even then, we need to see that why Lahore Kalandars are losing, why they are on the losing sequel, why they are uh, uh, because of such a brilliant effort from the bat, even then the collapse happened. But they posted about 177 runs after taking three wickets, after beating Luke Ronke early on in the over, taking three wickets, still they couldn't win the game. And now with the likes of, would you believe, the fastest fastest batters in the ODI, Corey Anderson, A.B. De Villiers with them, and still the position is same what happened in the last two weeks. A.B. De Villiers, Corey Anderson, Carlos Brathwait, the champions who put India out of the game in the last T20, uh, T20 World Cup, Sandeep Lamishan, Brandon Taylor, uh, Anton Devich, uh, who is the only visiting player who has been retained from the last year. All the rest have been, uh, been changed. Brandon McCallum, who led them in the past two editions, he was not retained in this as he was a 38 years old veteran and a former uh, Pakistan T20 captain uh, apart of, in, instead of Brendan McCallum, Mohammed Hafiz was inducted in this team that might be he can change the fortune and this time he, he was handed over the captaincy but lack of bowling and lack of keeping options are troubling Kalandars out of the way in this Pakistan Super League. No regular keepers with them and of course the lack of bowling attacks. But over the years, but with Mohammad Hafiz in the team now and AB De Villiers in the team in the middle order, this is ensuring that they can create some wonders this time, not like the last time. And uh, generally on the papers, it looked like to me little bit improved unit. December 2015, which was the very first Pakistan Super League drafting, if you remember those days, after five rounds, 25 players were picked. And after five rounds, if you remember, Lahore Kalandar was unable to pick their captain. This was the big blow uh, in the five franchises. And Kalandar was the only team in all those teams who was not knowing that who is going to captain their team. All the other four franchises were pre-decided and they were knowing that who is going to captain uh, their own teams. On the second day of the draft, then at last, Akhir Kar, they picked Azhar Ali and who was leading the team and he was not given the chance in 2017 and then he was not picked in the 2018 and then he was out of the Pakistan team and then he took retirement from the ODIs. So this was the dilemma of the Lahore Kalandars. And then the next thing was high risk cricket they were playing and the lack of bowling option was one of the reasons. Kalandars batting has never been a boom nor a uh, dust. They were always just like the unpredictable nature of the team West Indies and team Pakistan. Either they were 200 plus or either they were below 50. What, why I am saying this, they have posted 200 plus totals in the Pakistan Super League previously and also have been bowled out for 100 and one time, would you believe they were bowled for only 59 which is the lowest total made by any franchise in the last three editions of the Pakistan Super League season in Dubai and Pakistan. And then at the end, lack of wicket keeping options was once again troubling uh, the Columbus. Uh, now this time we will see that AB can continue or not or AB will prolong how much but the, you remember the Ram Deen. Ram Deen was not as good, might be the wicket keeping abilities was good but when the, there was a time uh, has come to accelerate the innings in the middle overs or the batting power play, Ram Deen was a total failure and he was he failed to meet the pace of the batting power play in the last Super League. So that's why we, uh, we are saying that Decock Rishab Pant, Joe's Butler, these uh, Sarfaraz Ahmed, although that he was not on the good neck with a bat, but when it is his day, he is on the song. These are the players to watch when they are on the song. The wicket keeper batsman is very important, playing a vital role in the today's cricket. In the PSL2, wicket keepers have played a vital role in other tournaments. Brad Hedden and Luke Ronke have done it for Islamabad United. Brad Hedden has done it in 2016. And who knows, and everyone knows that what damage Luke Ronke has done 
to the opposition after joining Islamabad United. Two big examples of winning the championship 2016 single-handedly, um, ruthlessly uh, done by the Brad Hedden and then some brutal hitting by Luke Ronke in the last season and you saw that how single-handedly he gave the cup to Islamabad United. And the same thing, the third wicketkeeper, the Pakistani wicketkeeper was doing but unfortunately they lost the match. Kamran Akmal was doing same thing with the Peshawar Zelmi in the 2017 but it was very unfortunate, very unfortunate that Kami, Kami's Peshawar Zelmi unable to pick the cup. And now they have found a good captain of with the Hafiz, plenty of experience of captaining Pakistan T20 internationals plenty of experience of uh, captaining Pakistan in the T20s even in the neighboring country India and the other countries great time to success their batting is stronger than ever AB is along with them Hafiz and Fakhar uh, with the opening op uh, option followed by De Villiers, Damage, Henderson and of course Aga Salman the game changer we have seen him in the North American leagues Aga Salman how uh, single handedly in the middle of the innings he is turning the game in the batting power plays Harris Wales and of course Brathwaite, the game changer from the West Indies who has changed the game against India uh, for, the, uh, for the team of West Indies in the World Cups. Kalanders with Hafiz leading the team, De Villiers in the middle order and a heavy spin bowling attack can help them. On the paper, this is not at all a bad team. The only concern that Lemeshan, Sandeep Lemeshan who has been the, the Nepali sensation, he has been picked that this is the 8th signing uh, of the franchises in the T20 leagues. My question only was this, that with so many spin options, where Lemeshan will come and when he will be having a time to ball. Because still, I do believe that they are having the more spin options. Anyways, the other match, King beat Sultans by 7 runs, Babar Azam. The favourites, Mickey's boy, making 77 with a Liam Livingstone 82 and Malik made the 50 from Multan Sultans. But unfortunately, that 50 was not enough to save the match. Mohammad Amir, who was a total failure in the recent Pakistan's outings, he grabbed four wickets. He was the pick of the Kings and finally handing over the first win to the Karachi Kings and Mickey will be quite satisfied with this win. And the other match, Gladiators beat Zelmi by 6 wickets. Man of the match, you won't believe, Umar Akmal. Umar Akmal, when the day when he is performing, he is on the song. The, he is the most dangerous man to see. A great comeback innings by the Umar Akmal uh, uh, tonight and his first 50 in the T20s in the 2 years and in the 20 innings and such a dangerous batsman he is that his average in the death overs when he's going to hit in the last overs his average per over is 12.52 when he's going to hit in the death overs before going to the break it's a time for the trivia factor on the same day in the 2003 what happened Chaminda was from the Sri Lanka he became the first ever man to take a hat trick on the first three balls of the game and then taking the fourth wicket in the same over. So this was the trivia and you are watching Match Point and you can follow me at the Twitter at Dr. Dan Khan, D-R-A-D-N-A-N-K-H-A-N, one word and you can follow me of course on the YouTube with the Greatest Empire USA and you can follow us on the Greatest Empire USA, same name on the Facebook page and for the YouTube page. Keep connected for the cricket updates. We will take a short break and I will be right back. Welcome back after the break. You are watching Match Point. We will give you a little bit of news, some chat-pati news. BPL, Bangladesh Premier League, which has been recently finished in Dhaka. And the results is on. Kamila Victorians became the champions of the Bangladesh Premier League. And would you believe that no league has been completed without the Pakistani superstars? Pakistani superstars, they took 16 wickets among them. And who are those? Boom Boom, Shahid Khan, Afidi, Lala and Wahab Riyaz. 
the Peshawar Zelmi and Multan Sultan, they were the part of the Komila Victorians and they were sharing 16 wickets among each other. And of course, 11 sixes by the Tamim Iqbal in the final of the BPL is a new amazing record. He is the first ever Bangladeshi to hit 10 or more sixes in a T20 game before him. Any Bangladeshi has never hit 10 or more sixes. The maximum sixes hit by a Bangladeshi in a T20 are the seven lucky seven. But this is the first time this much sixes has been hit by Tamim Iqbal. And of course, we will jump quickly to the India versus New Zealand, where India and New Zealand T20 series was equal with a 1-1 and uh, Kohli, Virat Kohli was back to the India and back to the alternate honeymoon along with Anushka and Ro uh, Rohit Sharma was uh, leading the team India along with uh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni and rest of the speed stars. But after the 1-1 one -one amazing results and the amazing uh, play by the Black Caps and Kane Williamson, but the uh, tremendous thing about oh, I want to tell you about the team India and about their seasoned captain and the previous captain and the Chennai Super Kings captain MS Dhoni who was playing his 300 T20 match. Mahindra Singh Dhoni is the first ever Indian character to play the 300 international matches, T20 matches. Now on the record list, most T20s by an Indian Mahindra Singh Dhoni 300, 298 Rohit Sharma 2 behind Dhoni, 296 uh, Raina and Karthik is on the 260 while Gautam Gambhir and Arbhajan on the 251 and the great Virat Kohli is on the 250. This is the first ever time India have lost a three match T20 series of the previous 10 times. They have won the last nine games and the one draw. Pakistan was victorious on the other hand in the 11 games in a row and Pakistan was defeated ultimately in the 12th game and there was uh, uh, people were uh, uh, there was rumors and people were talking about that if India wins this game and the next game they can equalize the Pakistan's record but unfortunately team India was not able to beat that record team India's best sequel is now the 9 and the Pakistan's best sequel which is the best ever of all the international teams that is the 11 Earlier this week, as you know, that the Pakistan streak of 11 consecutive T20 series and was ended by South Africa. And uh, Indian breaks were applied from New Zealand Kiwis. New Zealand did the same with the India and with their unbeaten previous last 10 T20 assignments. And both India and Pakistan are for playing the T20 series without their regular captains. From there, Sir Faraz Ahmed was missing and from Indian side, of course, Virat Kohli was missing. India have not conceded 200 plus total in more than two years. So this is a difficult task in spite of the so great batting lineup. This is a daunting task to score 200 runs in a chase, chasing wicket in a away match even for the team India with the likes of Dhawan, Rohit Sharma, uh, uh, Dhoni. Uh, so, in India considered 200 plus matches and the last time when they considered this much uh, runs and they lost the game, those were 245 in the Lauder Hill, Florida in 2016. And now after two years, India again considered this much runs. Hartik Pandya, 51, Khalil gave away 48 and Bhuvi gave 47, first time Three Indian bowlers were giving 45 plus runs in a T20 match, which was too tough to handle for the batsmen. First time India have considered 200 plus total in 2.5 years. And Pakistan is the only team in the international cricket which has never considered 200 plus total in that period in two to three years among the full member teams. Else than the Pakistan, every team has conceded 200 plus runs. India cruising towards the big defeat and never lost a T20 more than the 50 runs. And their heaviest defeat by batting second has been seen by 49 runs versus Australia in the 2010 World Cup, which was ultimately picked up by the Australia. Hartik Pandya, who is also a game changer for the team India, 
बिग एसेट फर्स्ट टी ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी वन रन सेकेंड टी ट्वेंटी थर्टी सिक्स रन थर्ड टी ट्वेंटी फोर्टी फोर रन बट दे वॉज नॉट इनफ बट इफ ऑन द अदर हैंड द पांड्या एज अ ग्रेट ऑलराउंडर फॉर द इंडिया इज बॉलिंग वॉज नॉट वर्किंग फॉर इंडिया वाई बॉलिंग वॉज नॉट वर्किंग फॉर इंडिया यू कैन इमेजिन इन दिस स्टैट दैट वन थर्टी वन टोटल बाय द हर्तिक पांड्या इन दिस सीरीज ही हैज कंसिडर्ड द रन वन ट्वेंटी टू बाय खलील अहमद एंड वन वन नाइन बाय कुरनाल पांड्या हु इज अ यंगर ब्रदर ऑफ हर्तिक पांड्या ऑल इन दिस सीरीज वर्सेज न्यूजीलैंड प्रीवियस हाइएस्ट runs given and considered by an indian bowler was none other but the younger pandya kurnal pandya who has given 117 uh, versus australia few months back so the elder pandya broke the record of younger pandya pair of brothers who were featuring together in the same limited over international match for the cricket for the india when india losing the game they were mohinder and surinder amarnath they played among each other three odis and irfan pathan and yusuf pathan they have played each other eight odis and eight t20s which is a record so far uh, which is a world record so far of playing so much matches in the real brothers playing in the one team kurnal pandya and hartik pandya now so far one t20 they have played and india have lost the game when both of these were their biggest defeats for the team india the t20 runs 80 versus new zealand in the wellington 2019 this match they got by the 80 runs and previously bridgetown barbados 2010 versus australia they lost the match by 49 runs this was the first defeat for the india in a three match bilateral odi series in the previous 10 such series they have won nine and they have drawn only one game and the last but not the least before going and before signing off Uh, uh, what's happening in the cricket globe west indies versus england west indies have finally won the series after a long 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 time they have beaten now england in their own home but the last match west indies they lost to the england by 243 runs this was the first time in the west indies test history that they have had 450 plus opening partnership in the three match series and i think this was the myth behind the victory of west indies windies results in the last five test without jason holder as i have told you in the last match point the last match jason holder was not playing and west indies lost the match the last five matches versus new zealand in the hamilton they lost by 240 runs and lost by innings and 272 versus india and rajkot in uh, in chatagong versus bangladesh they lost by 64 runs and versus bangladesh in meerpur they lost by 184 runs and then in the gross islet versus england they lost by 232 runs in the last 18 test with holder they have won nine games with jason holder and in the last previous five test without holder they have lost five on the trot and in all of five surprisingly they were on the chasing side so this is it from the match point and when next time i will come pakistan super league season four round one will almost be near to the end and we will tell you the latest updates and i will try to give you the feed in between when the matches would have been played that what's in what's out of the pakistan super league kya gladiators aur zelmi ek dafa phir takrayenge ki nahi takrayenge aur jab takrayenge so will anyone be able to uh, repeat the feat of defeating each other by the one run which is the famous rivalry of this pakistan super league luke ronki kuch aur acha kar payenge ki nahi kar payenge aur kya rana saab ki kalandri team apni जो है कलंदरा कलंदराना रन जो है वो दिखा पाएगी कि नहीं बताएगी ये सब कुछ जानने के लिए आपको रहना होगा ट्यून मैच पॉइंट पे ई अवॉस पे और मेरे यूट्यूब ग्रेटेस्ट एम्पायर यूएसए पे यू कैन फॉलो मी ऑन द ट्विटर एंड द इंस्टाग्राम ऑल्सो एट डॉक्टर अदनान खान डी आर ए डी एन एन के एच ए एन अपना ख्याल रखेगा टेक केयर एंड टिल नेक्स्ट एपिसोड टेक केयर एंड बाय